Hi all, it's Aurelius, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to share some of the most essential tools and services you'll need to run your online business. I'll name seven to eight categories in particular, and then under each of those categories, I'm gonna name some of the tools and services for you that I recommend. Having started online businesses in the past 15 years, back when I used to sell stuff on eBay, then doing affiliate marketing, and then selling eBooks and online courses, membership sites, you know, running my own digital marketing agency and now doing a bit of this YouTube. YouTube is just one part of my online uh, business. So I've come across some really great tools and some which weren't as helpful and useful. So hopefully this video breaks down some of those tools and services that I recommend personally, uh, which will help you start run, manage, and scale your online business too. Okay, so starting with the first thing is funding your online business. Despite an online business being very low cost to start, sometimes depending on your business model, you may need some capital to get started to buy some inventory. And then perhaps if you're already running your online business, you may wanna consider scaling and growing your online business. And for that, you will need some capital, you know, put in some money into marketing, maybe putting putting it into paid ads, things such as that. And for funding and capital, I wanna mention this video sponsor, Clearco. Clearco is the largest e-commerce investor in the world. It offers a suite of performance financing products and services tailor-made for founders like yourself, no matter what stage of your journey. What I wanna emphasize on is Clearco's Clear Capital service. Clearco will provide the funding so then you can use it to grow your online business and purchase things like inventory. And perhaps you wanna set a bit of a budget for marketing campaigns like Instagram or Facebook ads. On top of that, you may wanna consider hiring a developer, a writer or other freelance contractors. What's great about Clearco is that you still have 100% control over your business. Signing up is easy. All you need to do is hit that fund me button, follow the steps. Then you wanna choose how much funding you want. So simply drag and then set the amount that you want and then click the next step and follow the prompts. How your payback is based on their pay as you grow model. So only when you make sales, that's when the return funding kicks in and then the agreed amount based on a percentage is paid back to Clearco. Of course, flexible to your business. Honestly, I wish I had this kind of service back when I started a software that I had developed uh, together with my team. Instead, what I did was I went to the banks and then took out a massive loan with a high interest rate. And that was kind of a stupid, naive mistake of mine. So yeah, I wish this kind of service was around back then. So go check out Clearco and see how they can help you in terms of funding and capital for your online business. I'll link it up in the description box below. On the other side of the spectrum, you could just bootstrap your online business and reach into your own savings. If you currently have a full-time job or you're working, then that will help, of course, fund your online business. Now with funding out of the way, let's talk about some tools that you can use to research for things like product ideas, perhaps content ideas, and see what's in demand. The first tool I wanna to talk about is none other than Google's own Keyword Planner tool. What you'll need is a Google account and then simply go to ads.google.com and then you wanna go to tools and settings, click on keyword planner. Once you're there, click on discover new keywords. From here, you type in your keyword or key phrase. In this scenario, in this demo, I'm just going to use yoga mat. I wanna get some insight in terms of how many people are actually searching for that term on Google. Click on get results. And you wanna make sure you set your location and who you're actually targeting if you are targeting specific countries. In here, I'll just put in United States. And right off the bat, I can see the average monthly searches is between 100,000 to a million searches per month. Of course, this is a very general idea, a very general example, but you could go deeper and look for things like best yoga mat, I almost always turn to Google's Keyword Planner tool before I even release a product or release a content piece. I simply search up the term and that gives me an idea of how many people are searching for that term on Google. The next tool that'll help you with research is Google Trends. Simply search your search term here. I've put in yoga mats with this demo. Again, search worldwide or a specific country. I've just selected a filter of past five years so I can see more data. And it stems back all the way to 2016, which is quite consistent based on this graph here with a spike at the start of the pandemic here about April, and then it's slowly declining. 
Now here's an example of something that was trending and that's the fidget spinner. If you remember back then, almost every kid had a fidget spinner. So you can see the peak in 2017 and then pretty much died out after that. Another site that I like to do some research is on Amazon. So if you simply go to Amazon and then we're gonna go all, then we can see shop by department. And from here, this will give you the broad categories such as electronics, computers, smart home, Let's click on electronics. And from here, it'll give you subcategories, giving you more ideas. And then we can further niche down. Let's click on wearable technology. And under wearable technology, we've got even more categories under that, such as activity trackers, sports and GPS watches, smart watches, smart tracking, and more. Another research tool that I use more specifically for YouTube content to get some ideas to see the demand on specific keywords, key terms is using vidIQ. vidIQ has got a keyword tool. All you need to do is just enter the keyword right here. I've used yoga mat again for this demo. It'll give you the search volume. This is on a per month basis. So it gets searched about 20,000 times per month. What it'll also show you are related keywords, giving you more ideas in terms of content ideas. So you could put out videos around best yoga mat or yoga mat review or yoga, what is the best yoga mat and some of these other uh, related keywords. I am on the paid plan, but if you do sign up for a free account, you do get some suggestions. Those are some research tools. Let's move on to the next topic, which is web hosting and domain names. If you're doing online business, you're going to have to get web hosting sooner or later. And for web hosting, I recommend using Hostinger. Uh, more specifically, if you're just starting out, I recommend the shared web hosting. Otherwise, if you're more advanced and you need more a more robust server, then I recommend something like cloud hosting. So with Hostinger's shared web hosting, I recommend the premium shared hosting because they allow you to host up to 100 websites versus the single shared hosting, only one website. And on top of that, you also get a free domain name. Here's the premium hosting with the free domain, while the single hosting doesn't provide a free domain. Otherwise, if you wanna register a domain name, simply go to Namecheap, who I've been using for the past 10 years or so. Usually they do have coupon codes if you simply search for Namecheap coupons, and that'll save you a little bit. Moving on, with any online business, you're going to wanna accept payments from customers and clients all around the world. And for that, you will need a payment processor. The two main payment processes that you're going to wanna sign up is number one, PayPal, number two, Stripe. Because some people can't pay using PayPal and therefore that's where Stripe comes in, where they accept credit and debit cards. So those are the two I would look into. Next up, to manage and sell your products online, you will need some sort of product management system or a shopping cart system. The first shopping cart system that I recommend is called Thrivecart. Now they don't have like a monthly plan of any sort. I actually joined them when they first launched. So I got a pretty good deal. I think it was about 497 at that time, lifetime access, and they still offer this lifetime account. So you simply click on get my lifetime account now. I will provide a link to Thrivecart in the description box below. And uh, here's the price. So there's 495 with an upgrade of its pro account. And that's one of the pros with using Thrivecart. You only pay that one-time fee to use their shopping cart system forever. How Thrivecart works is you add your products into the Thrivecart system, set your prices, set your upsells or one-click offers, if anything, set your download and thank you pages too, and then integrate PayPal or Stripe there as well. And then you're given a link to then put on your website so that people can add to cart or buy your products right away. But on top of that, you can do things like bump offers or one-click offers. You can embed your cart anywhere, plus a whole range of other features. If I scroll down right here, and you can read this yourself on their website. A couple of other options include using Gumroad. So with Gumroad, you don't need a website. Everything is hosted with Gumroad. So check out their pricing, which is free. And all you need to do is pay that 5% uh, fee plus the charge fee of 3.5% plus 30 cents. The back end of Gumroad looks like this. So under products, I'm editing my YouTube content calendar for sale. And all you need to do really is just fill in a couple of the fields, add your redirect link wherever that digital download is stored or whatever it is you wanna deliver to your customers. Set your pricing and then publish it. 
Here's what the page looks like where they can buy it and get instant access to it. There is an alternate to Gumroad, it's called Payhip. Very similar pricing model, $0 per month, but they only charge 5% transaction fee. So similar features too. Here's what one of the product pages looks like. They can add to cart or buy now. Just like Gumroad, you don't need your own web hosting or a domain name. So if you're looking for something simple to start, simple to run, then check out Gumroad or Payhip. The next type of service that you will need and perhaps you already have is cloud storage. So storing all your files, all your downloads, and perhaps storing your files so then you can collaborate with other team members. My team and I use Google Drive since that syncs with other Google services too. But you may wanna consider using Dropbox. So check out either Google Drive or Dropbox. Those are the two that I personally recommend. The next piece of tool that you may need in your online business is a design tool. Now you could go and learn how to use Photoshop, but why would you? You're a business owner. You don't wanna be spending time learning how to you know, manipulate photos and do text effects. So I recommend using something more simple and that is Canva. I won't go through Canva in this video because I've got a ton of video tutorials on how to use Canva if you look down below in the description box below. But when it comes to your online business, you wanna make sure you have that one piece of tool that can design pretty much all your things such as social media graphics, your logos, your product covers, and more. The next kind of service you'll need is some sort of CRM system. And most people will turn to something like Salesforce, which may seem like the obvious choice, but it's very pricey. And for someone like a solopreneur, and perhaps you're simply a creator and you're just starting a small business, you won't need Salesforce and tools like that. I'd recommend something as simple as an email marketing platform. An email marketing platform will allow you to collect and generate leads and then follow up on those subscribers. And one platform that I recommend you use is called ConvertKit. If you're just starting out, it was made by creators for creators. And I like the intuitiveness and simplicity of using ConvertKit. What I also like about ConvertKit is that they offer a landing page builder. This is in my demo account. Simply hit create new. Once you're in landing pages and forms, choose from one of the templates. Let's say I like this one here, become a better photographer. I'll choose this. From here, I can customize the headline, the text, and even the image here, replacing it with my own e-cover. Down below, you've got the opt-in form. So those who land on this page see this, and then they simply enter their email click on subscribe. With ConvertKit, you can also do some marketing automations, such as creating these types of funnels. You can use automations to segment your subscriber base. So only those who, let's say, are interested in topic A, will receive newsletters based on topic A. What's more, and this is why I kind of recommend ConvertKit, is they offer a free plan, allowing you to build an email list of up to a thousand subscribers until you need to move on to a paid plan. So far we've talked about a lot of tools and services and it's natural as a business owner to have all these ideas and all these notes and projects. How do you manage everything? How do you make sure you stay on top of things, stay organized and make sure you are on track with your projects? That's where workspace systems come in. I personally use Notion to pretty much organize my business and life too. So you can see the dashboard. Now this is a demo workspace that I created for uh, the sake of this video and other video training that I put out. But you can see just what you can do with Notion. This dashboard could act as your central hub for everything, including your business accounting, customers, branding, products. Uh, you could have receipts, you know, talk about things like even your health. You've got your fitness tracker, meal prep plan, uh, Perhaps you wanna make sure you stay on top of your courses and training notes. Down below, you've got your to-do list. So this is something you could create. And Notion gives you that flexibility to create a workspace just like this. On the left, you can see the different workspaces that I have, including my goals, my OKRs, or in other words, objectives and key results. I've got under personal branding, we've got a YouTube content calendar, my social media content calendar, my content ideas, branding and website, testimonials, coaching courses, sponsorships, and more. I've even got a reading and favorites section so then I can keep track of articles that I haven't read or wanna keep or reread some other time. Rather than having your notes on one app and then your to-dos in another app and then perhaps you've got some physical 
sheets of paper, you know, that you put your notes down, why not put it all into one workspace system such as Notion? All right, I know I've covered quite a lot in this video and actually there's a lot more tools and services that I would love to recommend to you. These are just the main essential categories of tools or departments and facets of your business that I recommend you start with, whether you're starting out or established, looking to scale your business. I hope this video was helpful and I'd love to know what tools and services are helping you in your online business. Feel free to comment below. I'd love to know and so will the community. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.